As the war between Hamas and Israel continues, the medical situation in Gaza is getting desperate. In lieu of taking any medical staff or healthcare workers away from their job in Gaza right now, I thought I'd interview somebody who was an emergency trauma doctor in 1983 in Beirut when Israel invaded and the Lebanese militias were raging in civil war. My father got his education at the American University of Beirut and Johns Hopkins. He went back into a war just to do what was right by his community at a time they needed it most. Here he is telling me a two-minute story about that time. Habibi, I operated during the Israeli invasion to Lebanon. You know, it was very stressful. We had so many uh, victims that it was, uh, we were working like 24 hours in the operating room and maybe resting two or three hours and sleeping. And uh, I was then uh, coordinating the uh, emergency room uh, triage. I was very well experienced in uh, the latest technique of taking care of limbs and saving limbs uh, from Hopkins. So I was the only orthopedic uh, with trauma experience. At that time, I opened four operating rooms and put uh, the senior resident in charge of each and used to hop from one operation to another. I remember distinctly uh, a patient who was maybe 12 or 13, and he was brought from the Beka Valley, and he had a partial amputation of his leg, uh, uh, but was infected, and he had a fever of, uh, you know, like 102. Uh, we took him down, we removed the dressing, we cleaned up uh, the wound uh, two, three, four times, and I kept him, uh, uh, you know, kept him in the hospital. We did maybe 10 or 15 operations on him. His mom was so distressed that she told me, please, for my sake, don't cut his leg. And I told her, well, I'll do my best to save it. Finally, uh, he, uh, we fused his knee and followed him over uh, several months and everything went fine. 45 years later, he wrote me on Facebook that he owes his life to me. You know, my heart goes out to all the doctors. It's a very hard job to do when you are under complete stress.